Hey there and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video we're going to be talking about Ravencoin, RVN. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go down below and tap that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. And the like button is right next to it, so if you could hit that too, it'd be great. Um, if you're not following me on Twitter yet, please, in the description, there's a link to my Twitter. You can follow me there where you get more up-to-date information on the charts. And if you want to help support the channel, down in the description are some affiliate links, where if you click on those affiliate links and sign up, you get a little bit of bonus, I get a little bit of bonus. So everybody wins. All right. On to Ravencoin. So, uh, you know, everything's been pretty boring. Uh, this last week, we've had a little bit of a move, but then just got kind of eaten up again. Um, Bitcoin right now is under 20,000, so that's not good. We are having a little bit of a push for Ravencoin, which is what I'm going to go over here in a second. But uh, seeing Bitcoin under 20,000 uh, right now is not really what I want to see. We do have one day left uh, on the week, and so hopefully we can see a decent move on Friday, which is today. But um, yeah, we'll see. Also, actually, I want to jump over to the DXY first because the DXY is uh, it's defying everything. We have this big push. Uh, see this giant wick here on the DXY. So it came down, didn't quite reach uh, my support line here. And we got a massive bottom wick here on the DXY, which is not looking good for the crypto markets. And now we still have not gotten back above the heart line, so that's good. Let's go actually drop down to the daily. And I've got a Fibonacci here just paying it, keeping my eye on it. So took a Fibonacci from the top down to the bottom. And we were getting rejected off the 382. Um, we finally broke above it, and now we're getting rejected off the 0.5. But the we really need to fall down, either retouch this uh, support line here on the channel, or just break through, preferably break through. Actually, honestly, is what we need to do is uh, break through. I mean, if you look back in the past on the RSI, we did fall through on the RSI, fall below the moving average, and then we kind of danced, you know, off. I mean, it's almost doing the exact same thing. It's kind of weird. So we danced off the 50 here, and then we kind of just hung underneath the yellow line, the moving average, until we finally had the move to push us back uh, up above the heart line, which was when we broke above the moving average here. And then we got uh, all the way up here into the, um, you know, above the green area. We fell back below it. We tapped the 50 line again. And now we're underneath again, just kind of dancing around underneath the heart line. So, I mean, really, we need to pay attention to this on the daily for the DXY. If this thing breaks back above the moving average, uh, that's not good news for the crypto markets. What we want to see is have this thing actually turn around and fall below the 50 line on the daily. So now let's get back to Ravencoin and I want to go back to the weekly because I want to show you guys where we stand. We came down, we tapped the 786 kind of like what I was talking about, which was also roughly around where this trend line is. We're making our way back up, but we are getting rejected at the 20 EMA and um, that's fine. You know, um, I mean, we could still be another week underneath this 20 EMA and everything's fine. The RSI is still looking fine. We have not fallen below the uh, moving average and we're kind of just hanging around at the 50 line here, which is just fine as well. The volume is terrible. So there's that. So the week is almost over. We got two days, 17 hours from the time of this video. And as you can see, almost every single green volume bar I mean, I guess these guys down here, but I mean, also, I guess that's a good sign. You know, these guys down here, it's some pretty low volume. And then right after that, we had some big moves to the upside. Uh, so, you know, maybe we do get two weeks of low volume and we kind of just hang out in this area. If we got another week, we could close right around here, create another green bar uh, in this area right here. It's a terrible green bar. I just tried to draw there. Uh, so we can create another green bar right in this area here. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, the next week comes, and that's when we get a nice move to the upside. I mean, that's that's possible. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Uh, we, I want to see more volume. Let's go down to the daily. 
The daily volume is weak. But we did get... Ugh, I always do that. We did get... Uh, we touched the 786. We did get a nice push. So we were in this falling channel. Uh, or we were... I mean, if I go to my other chart here. You know, that was I. You know, falling channel or descending you know triangle whichever uh either one of them would have worked uh the falling channel we broke out we i want to go to the four hour to talk about this actually so we broke out had a nice move then we came back down to retest uh so you can either say that we had a w pattern here and we came back down to retest it um which is, you know, worked out, and then we are on our way back up slowly, but we need to get above, we need to get above the 100 EMA. So this is our challenge right now on the four hour. We need to get above the 100 EMA and kind of dance in here for a second and then finally break above the 200. And then we need to get above this Fibonacci line that's right here. So there's a lot of, a lot of resistance on the way. We need, that's why we need the volume. There's so much resistance right in here, keeping us down on the four hour. That we need to have some volume come in now we are getting a nice an okay not going to say nice an okay volume candle right here on the rsi we did bounce off the 50 and off the moving average so that's good so as you can see we'd been held underneath the 50 for i mean i mean it goes back even further but that's as far as my chart's showing right here we've been underneath the 50 for quite some time we finally broke above it now we're retesting the 50 and we're making a move to the upside. So that is a good sign, but again, we need more volume. Uh, not really any good patterns here. This W pattern, if it played out, you know, if it was a W pattern, the price target has already played out. I mean, I guess we got just a little bit further we could go, but it's most, mostly played out. I mean, that would actually take us above the 100 and almost to the 200 if that price target played out totally and got us up there, but Looks like we're getting some resistance right now. You can see where this resistance is coming from. I mean, it's pretty obvious. We had resistance, resistance. We broke above. Now we're trying to get back above again. It's a good sign that we did break above. That means we're getting some momentum to the upside. Um, but this is where a lot of action's going on with the bears and the bulls fighting at who's going who's gonna to win this fight here, really. And this thing goes all the way back to, you know, this wick right here. Uh, and there's a lot of action that played out right in this area as well. Uh, so lots of stuff going on in this area. We got lots of resistance to break through. So really get above this 100 EMA on the, uh, four hour is the first priority. Uh, and already we're losing steam. We were just up over 2%. Now we're up, you know, under one and a half percent. Cause it just keeps getting going down along with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going down right now too. So just kind of a short update on Ravencoin. Uh, I did like this. I did like this push that we had here. Uh, we were running out of space, <laughs> you know, with this channel, with this. I mean, there's so many lines here. You know, there's uh, you got the resistance from this channel. You've got, you know, the, the support of this channel. You got the support line, the white support line here. You got the 786 Fibonacci line here. You got the EMAs. I mean, there's so much going on in this area. Once we can, if we can get above, really, you know, the bullish scenario here is we got to get above this, this, uh, ah, come on. There we go. We got to get above this 618 here. And as you can see, once we get above this 618, we got a lot of open sky here. We don't have the support lines. We don't have the uh, Fibonacci's except for, you know, just the norm, you know, we got to get through those two, but there's not much resistance and as you know, for price support or resistance in this area, it's just open. I mean, the next major resistance is going to be at this 382 here at five cents so once we get to you know once we break above this cluster right here the next is going to be around five cents and that's where we're probably going to dance around a little bit you know in this area and then finally break through hopefully to the upside but anyway uh that's uh, all i got for the video today quick update uh hopefully bitcoin doesn't destroy us and uh beware of weekend price action so if you're looking at buying and, and trading and selling and whatever you're doing with Ravencoin, uh, just be weary of the price action over the weekend. It usually, you know, doesn't take much to move the price up or down. So, uh, and, it, and then when Monday comes around, it usually ends up towards where it started on Friday anyways. So uh, if you like what you saw here, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And just remember, I'm not a financial advisor, just a dude on his computer. Talk to you later.